Hey, Steve, welcome back to Hong Kong. Thank you, Craig. Uh, yes, I think in order to apply and, and be a part or, or look to, to get into those top 10 universities mm -hmm. in Canada, they need to, one, certainly have the uh, English language background mm -hmm. necessary in order to get themselves in a position. Mm -hmm. But also they need to, especially in their high school experience, um, take the proper courses they need mm -hmm. in order to get them in a position where they're able to apply to those programs. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, the other thing I would say is that they need to achieve um, a high standard of academic excellence. That means GPA all. Um, their GPA, yes. All the school results. That's right. right. And the higher their school results, the more opportunities they enable themselves to get into those top 10 universities mm -hmm. in, the, in Canada. Um, they can get in with a range uh, of GPA marks and marks. But so usually, how, what is the GPA they need? Yeah, For it, example, yeah. like uh, academic must be achieved Set, uh, 95 or something? Yes, it, it's a good question. Um, across Canada th that may vary from university to mm -hmm. university, um, also from faculty to faculty within university. Mm -hmm. For example, the Faculty of Sciences at UBC uh, may want an average of 85 to 90 percent. 85? Okay, yeah. Oh. Whereas the Faculty of Sciences possibly at another mm -hmm. university across Canada may have either a higher or mm -hmm. a lower uh, entrance requirement depending mm -hmm. On what they're looking for in, in terms of students. Mm -hmm. High schools have a big job uh, mm -hmm. and an important job for international students, certainly from Hong Kong or anywhere around the world, in preparing them to be able and eligible to go on to post secondary mm -hmm. or university in Canada. Um, we prepare them in a number of ways, and the Comox Valley School District does a very good job in preparing them with their English language skills. Mm -hmm whether it be reading, writing, listening, or verbal speaking skills. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as well as those skills and making sure their skills that are at a good level, mm -hmm. we also make them and uh, prepare academically in terms of organizational skills, study skills, uh, and preparing them for the rigors that will be presented to the okay. universities. Okay. So um, according to your school district, uh, it's a serious question. Mm -hmm. so, in the past year, 2012, what, what was your result for our international student for their graduation yeah. rate, you know? So, we are proud to say um, that we have um, every one of our international students that graduated mm -hmm. in what we call our graduation mm -hmm. program, meaning they have a BC graduation certificate, mm -hmm. has gone on to some form of post. So we have 100% of our international students mm -hmm. have moved on to some form of post-secondary, whether it be university or college mm -hmm. program uh, after see. they finished our program. So we're mm -hmm. very proud of that. Mm -hmm. um, and they have moved on to universities across Canada, mm -hmm. United States, some of them have returned even back to their home countries, whether it be Hong Kong or anywhere around the world, to attend university back in their own country. Ah, so. that's good. They can apply back to Hong Kong. Yes. Right? Yeah. Hong Kong's university is not that bad as well. No, by no, no so means, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've had a few of our students that, from Hong Kong uh -huh. that have graduated with us mm -hmm. and then um, applied to back to Hong Kong and mm -hmm. uh, are doing very well in Hong Kong University. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, you're Steve. very welcome. Thank you, Chris. Yeah.